Annie told me to come to Venice, so I came to Venice, and I guess I'm somehow filming a day in the life. Day in the life, baby, Venice. <laughs> That's Billy Marks. He's working on a new toy machine part. Hey, with all the Canadians out here. Oh yeah, also, he, <laughs> Annie was just like, oh yeah, these guys are Canadian, like not referring to himself as Canadian, because he thinks he's a Venice <laughs> Beach kid now. Thanks, dude. <laughs> are you Venice I'm through and through? Now. I'm NorCal. NorCal. But I'm okay. California, so like. So you can claim it's Venice. It's rare to find Californians around here. Oh yeah, mostly so, transplants. I can, yeah, exactly. So I can claim California. Yay! Oh, just went for it. But a lot of people think I'm from here. Like a lot of people are like, you've lived here your whole life, and I'm like. No. They just like tell you how it is. You, yeah, you're yeah, from yeah. here. I, I think I specifically remember when Andy and me came here. He did not like this. He was too scared. He wasn't strong enough. Oh, you got. I want to knee slide in the streets. That looks so fun. I was gonna say I could never do that. <laughs> well, my issue is like, like, I'm such a creature of habit. If I developed that, I would never be able to undo it. So I would like skate a handrail without knee pads and just destroy my knees or something. Why are you on the ground? Stay there. He says, "Stay there." <laughs> oh, so we're on our way to Tonin's house. Tonin is one of the OG Z Boys, and right now he's got a sick ass art studio. We're gonna go check it out. I hope we get some footage in there so this is relevant. <laughs> It'd be sick if it just like clicks to like us being somewhere else, just skating, like nothing happens. <laughs> no, but check this out right here. Street. Should I just film Andy the whole way there? I saw the book too. I thought you were gonna try to pop the board into your hand and like walk across it or something. Right here. Here? So yeah. you fell on that on purpose so you could stop. Got it. He makes hoodies and puts these rug material on it so you look less threatening. Probably my favorite thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's called neighbor hoodies. <laughs> this is Tonin. It's my main man. What's up, Andy? What's man? up? All right. Dude, bro. I'm going to let him tell you all about. I like your front side grinds, bro. Oh, thanks, yeah, dude. Man. You know what? <laughs> Yeah, man, I got tired of playing backgammon with a friend of mine. And I said, can I tear your blanket up and put it on my sweater and sew it on with your sewing machine? She said, sure. And then I walked down to the store to get something to drink. And sure enough, a dude I know with hair down to his back, he looked at me, his name's Colin, and said, that's cool, where'd you get that? And I said, I made it. And he said, make me one, I'll buy it. So now we're close to 400 people out there wearing the sweaters this is the new one it's a neighborhood he's Dude, with a zip a, a, a kangaroo pouch yeah we have instagram and we have a website it's um uh, neighborhoodies i'll link that in the description you can just click the link and it'll take them right to your shit what is this made out of what is what is, what is this this is the california king palm tree the raw material is over here oh. oh so you literally just like take it off of these this is a tree that grows this husk. Then the branch dies and it falls off the tree. Then I take it, sand it, prep it up for this. This one's top gun and hard. Whoa. That is sick. See this thing? Yes, sir. This, look down the tube, Andy. You're getting oh, yeah. barreled yeah. with the thing. You can see the curl. Do you sell these too? Yes, yes. These these are supposed to go to children's hospitals. Oh, okay. Recovering from traumas. Oh, sick. And we'll ship these around the world to the, the hospitals. And you can look down the barrel again. You see oh, yeah. Barrel. I like that. Yeah, because you have this. Oh, you see the, see the curl? <laughs> what? Oh, we're with it. Oh. Rip City's in Santa Monica, one of the oldest skate shops ever. Oh, you have it? It's no. nostalgic, bro. Those guys have pushed all of us to skateboard even when it was like, get out of our driveway, you weirdos. Now, the metal detector has been become such the raddest tool ever. 
And if you like costume jewelry, here's a jar full of it. Oh, this is all the stuff that you found. Yeah. This, a little Tootsie from 1940s. The fake gold I bought from the dude that came by here in the alley with his family in a Mercedes, and he said he lost his wallet. Oh, that's my favorite and gimmick. He totally was like, I could sell you this gold. Look at my family. We have no money. I have to go, <laughs> Dude, I have to, go to Gardena true. or wherever. I fell into it for $250. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Costume bling. He worked me. You know, I'm such an emotional <laughs> creature. I got second at a surf contest not long back. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. He's like, he's like, here's me getting scammed. Here's me winning. Yeah. <laughs> Now, this is what you find in the water, okay? There's oh, tons of thousands of dollars along the coast. Wait, is this real? And so, <laughs> yeah. this is... like is... random bills that you found? Yeah, I was yeah. taught to... In, over this. I was taught to do this when I was 11, because I'm a native of Venice. I'm a local here, so uh -huh. there's always the metal detecting, but then there's this. See, if it, if, <laughs> if it doesn't get pulled out of the water... It gets destroyed, right? So it goes on my art, the pieces. But the pieces that I have that I could read the serial number. For instance, not that one because it's been in the water so long. But you could see the seaweed Which, on it. Yeah, for It's been floating across the, the sand. This has a serial number right here. So when I send that to the treasury when summer's over, then they'll send me a check. They'll oh, sick. And say, oh, this is legit marred and mutilated money. The real reason any rights for Swatch. It's literally like the boobs calculator thing all over again. How perfect is that? It does look really, really clean. That's funny. Right? Really? Who showed you that? Logo. Someone commented, I used to make the word bitch out of those stickers. And someone was like, how did you do that? And then there was like this argument about if he was not, if it was possible or not. And then I was looking at the sticker. I was like, oh, you could totally make bitch out of that. <laughs> Down the I love the contrast of going to Woodward, which is one of my favorite places to skate just because so many random options and then coming to my least favorite place in the entire world, Venice Skate Park. It's like a random ramp top run. I don't know if I introduced these guys yet. This is Hippie Mike. What's up? Kalen's Hippie That's Son. Terrible. And Hippie, this is the guy who really got me into skating. So I started skating on my own when I was four. But when I turned seven, Hippie was teaching me lessons every, pretty much every week, dude, for a minute. And like, he hosted all the contests that got me into skateboarding contests. He taught me all the, like, a lot of the tricks he taught me I did in the Olympics. Oh, like, sick. It's actually a trip. Like, so he taught you the real tricks. Yeah, exactly. How to carve how to roll, how to skate for real. And then his son, first time out here in Cali, first time in Venice was last night. And then beautiful Val is gonna walk us through a warm up. Oh, shit, okay. Then should we follow? Yeah. Shake it like this. Oh, I love that. Stretch it hard. Oh, a little harder. <sighs> get your ankles, yeah. You oh, yeah, get them ankles. Get a little twerk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Val, this is a, that's, a little... that's not how you stretch, Val. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's it. That's yeah, you don't stretch too much before the warm up because that can cause more injury when you try to go to skate. Like that's why I'm moving. Since 04. Stretches are yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that called? What's that kind of stretching called? Kinetics. Kinetics. Yeah. What is it? Again? Pretty sure that's a TikTok dance. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, that's sick. I actually do kind of like the dimensions of this thing. What? Switch Anderson? Cross lock wrong way Anderson? Already did that trick once Anderson?
censored. What's the bottom of your feet like? Dude. Like, are they just pure rock? Oh, wait, let me see. Big callus life. <laughs> I like that he doesn't fully go back over crook on those. He like actually kind of balances the back side of this grind. Kind of rare. I'd like to take a moment to appreciate how delicate that little rappy dappy sweeper thing was. And after that, uh, Andy started really going in on the skate park. I also had him skate the outskirts of the skate park, which isn't even a part of the park. It was really rad. Uh, he also does like a lot of like very street scary tricks. Like he does like, quote unquote, like mainline normal tricks. Uh, definitely good watch. That video comes out tomorrow, 12, 15 PM. So yeah, watch that tomorrow. Thanks for watching.